Imagine a free cancer treatment with virtually no side effects, and it can be used at the same time as other treatments. Does it exist? Yes, it does, with amazing promise. Supporters say sugar is cancer food. So if you cut out the carbs, you can actually kill off the cancer. And they have some amazing success stories to back them up. Lori Johnson has more. Dr. Fred Hatfield is an impressive guy. He's a powerlifting champion, author, millionaire businessman with a beautiful wife. But he'll tell you his greatest accomplishment is killing his cancer, just in the nick of time. The doctors gave me three months to live because of widespread metastatic cancer in my skeletal structure. Three months. Three different doctors told me that same thing. It's a horrible, horrible feeling to have someone tell you that the person that you love only has three months to live and you're not going to be with him anymore. While Fred was preparing to die, he heard about an anti-cancer diet, also known as metabolic therapy. With nothing to lose, he gave it a try and was shocked when it actually worked. And the cancer was gone completely. To this day, there's no trace of it and it's been over a year. Although it wasn't easy, Fred stopped eating carbohydrates because carbohydrates turn into glucose inside your body. Cancer cells love glucose and need it so badly that if you stop giving it to them, they die. And it just absolutely amazes me that medical science is just now finding this out. Fred's recovery was not a surprise to Dr. Dominic D'Agostino. His team of scientists at the University of South Florida study metabolic therapy. When they removed carbohydrates from the diets of lab mice, the mice survived highly aggressive metastatic cancer, even better than when they were treated with chemotherapy. We have uh, dramatically increased survival uh, with metabolic therapy. So we think it's important to get this information out. And it's not just lab mice. He's also seen similar success in people, lots of them. I've been in uh, correspondence with a number of people, probably at least a dozen people. And uh, over the last year and a half to two years, and uh, all of them are still alive, <laughs> so despite the odds. And uh, so this is very encouraging. All cells, including cancer cells, are fueled by glucose. But if you deprive them of glucose, they switch to the alternate fuel ketone bodies, all except cancer cells. A defect prevents them from making the switch to using ketone bodies as fuel, and therefore cancer cells can only survive on glucose. All other cells can use either glucose or ketone bodies. Your normal cells have the metabolic flexibility to adapt from using glucose to using ketone bodies but cancer cells lack this metabolic flexibility, so we can exploit that. People like Fred, who deprive their cells of glucose and fuel them with ketone bodies instead, eat what's known as a ketogenic diet. It consists of almost zero carbohydrates, but lots of natural protein and fat. You can go online and there's just cookbooks and, you know, it's not, it's, it's clean eating, just very clean eating. None of the sugars, the salts, the, you know, the, um, the trash food. Natural proteins are ones in their original form, but processed meats like cold cuts and hot dogs are off limits because often carbohydrates have been added to them. Natural fats are in their original form, like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and also coconut oil. But stay away from trans fats, such as shortening or margarine, which are man-made. Some people are afraid to try the ketogenic diet because they think all this fat is bad for their heart. But more doctors are now saying natural fat is actually good for you, even natural saturated fat, like coconut oil and butter. Doctors like cardiologist Stephen Sinatra. Is cholesterol the major cause of heart disease? Absolutely not. In his book, The Great Cholesterol Myth, he says the real cause of heart disease is inflammation, which comes from eating too many carbohydrates. We need to coach our patients and empower them about the dangers of sugar. Unfortunately, they're not hearing that. They're hearing the, the converse, the dangers of fat. Fat is healthy for you. 
as long as you avoid trans fats. So by cutting back on carbohydrates and eating natural fats and proteins, you could improve your heart health and even wipe out cancer. Amazing. Our reporter, Laurie Johnson, is with us. Laurie, why isn't the medical establishment shouting this from the housetops? It's fabulous. Two words drug companies. He said drug Now we know how expensive uh, this kind of research is and who normally pays for medical research? The drug companies. The drug companies. Yeah, and sure. why do they pay for the medical research? Because they're usually testing a drug mm -hmm. and if the research goes well then they'll make a whole pile of money on that drug right. when it's approved. Well this is a diet. Who's going to make money off of a diet? So, so they're not testing it to its extreme. The olive oil suppliers are, are going to have a cartel. The olive exactly. Yeah, okay. And you know talking about this <laughs> cancer story just a short time ago I received word of a woman who had cancer of the salivary glands yes. and was getting ready to have surgery Surgery, disfiguring surgery on her jaw. Horrible. She went on the ketogenic diet and now she doesn't have to have the surgery. And the ketogenic diet has been a godsend for children with epilepsy. Now really? I've already done a story on this. It's been a couple years and for Incredible. folks who didn't get to yeah. see it, I went up to the Mayo Clinic and interviewed parents of a little boy who was having a hundred seizures a day. Nothing was helping him. And then one of his doctors said, hey, maybe the problem is glucose. So they took him off carbohydrates and his seizures stopped like that. Incredible. And now kids all over the country no. are on the ketogenic diet, kids with epilepsy. 20, at least 20 years ago, uh, there was a, a diet uh, that you did it ketosis and you had those urine strips and right. they had to turn blue, purple, whatever right. it was. Right, yes. But you just see if you're in, quote, ketosis. Uh-huh. Yeah, but... Uh, as I recall, uh, my joints got sore and some bad things happened. It wasn't always sweetness and light with that. Well, it's not real simple. Uh, and there are, there, I have tons of information and lots of links on our website if people are interested in going on it. At first blush, I would say maybe you weren't eating enough fat. You know, a lot is of people it? think the ketogenic diet is all meat, but it's really a lot of fat, too. And you don't have to go, you know, if you are dying of cancer or if you have epilepsy, then definitely a strict ketogenic diet would be right for you. Right. But for those of us who are trying to prevent cancer, a moderate ketogenic diet has been proven to be very successful. I'm on that. Are you? I've had cancer and I don't want it coming Come back. Come on, you look so great. You well, had cancer. Thank you. My mom had a different kind of cancer and so I'm at higher risk for that. So I'm on a moderate ketogenic diet, which allows for more carbohydrates than the strict ketogenic diet, right. but fewer than the average American eats. The well, average American <laughs> eats about 60% carbohydrates and a moderate ketogenic is about 40, 25 percent carbohydrates. What are some of the little hidden killers that are out there that we're not even aware of? Yeah. Well, topping the list for sure are the trans fats. Yeah. We've talked about this before, but I really don't think people are getting the message. Anything, you look at the label, anything that says hydrogenated, that's right. a trans fat. Those are molecularly just one molecule away from plastic, your cells cannot communicate when you're eating trans fat and they are in everything. And then we've also talked about the high fructose corn syrup, oh, the sugar, which is in everything. Well, and those bread, two I mean, things are eating, the worst. You're eating standard bread. They've got uh, mm -hmm. uh, corn syrup in it. Everything's got corn syrup in That's it. That's right. Well, I, how do you, I mean, you've really got to be a detective reading all the labels. Right. Well, you know, it's the same way with a lot of things in our society. I mean, it used to be you could just turn on the TV and watch whatever's on. Now you have to be more discerning. Right. used to be you could walk into the grocery store and just eat anything that was on the shelf. Now you have to be more discerning. Well, we did a feature here and held up the cans of soup on MSG, which is an excitotoxin. Does that have any, play any bearing in all of these things you're talking about? The MSG and the, yes, they have come out with all kinds of research about how bad that is. And if you go on our website, CBN.com, there are a list of things that contain MSG, hydrolyzed yeast extract. Think if the rule of thumb is if you don't know what it is, don't, don't, don't eat, eat it. it. <laughs> if it's a chemical name. Butter. Yeah. All right, I got you. Olive oil. But I do okay. want to say, there, I have a lot of information on our website about the ketogenic diet, okay. a strict ketogenic diet for people with cancer, 
and epilepsy or a moderate ketogenic diet for people who are, are wanting to prevent cancer. And you know how I was saying in the story there are no side effects. There actually is one side effect of the ketogenic diet. Makes you thin. You lose weight. Yeah. You got yeah. it. Okay. You got it. Because that glucose, your body has to burn glucose before it burns fat. So if you've got all that glucose in your blood, it's never going to burn that but fat. You see, it's the fat that keeps your, I mean, the joints swell. The joints get with too many of these ketones. Uh, uh, it's like the sludge in a uh, furnace. You've got to burn it up cleanly. Mm -hmm. And it takes the fat to do that. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Okay. And really, it's recommended that if you're going to go on the ketogenic diet, learn about it okay. first. And again, I have a lot of links on our website where people can, you know, read certain books about it sure. and uh, find Gloria, all about I've, it before I've they try it. I've watched people that we love wasting away with cancer, and you're praying and asking God to heal them, and the healing doesn't take place. And they, that stuff is just, it's, it's like a killer. And if this thing would kill cancer, that would be the most wonderful thing. I mean, what Absolutely. a boom. Absolutely. I believe it. And, and that's why I'm on it myself, to prevent it. Right. I'm very inhospitable to cancer cells. If they want okay. to come visit me, I am not You're going to feed them. Kill them all. all right. Laurie Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, you can look up her website. Uh, what, Laurie Johnson? It's actually CBN.com. CBN and, and this story will pop up. And there are all kinds of links and information, Man. cookbooks. You can even cook things like cupcakes and breads on the ketogenic diet because they use special ingredients. So for the kids who have epilepsy, right. that's especially nice for well, them. My soup, my minestrone soup, has absolutely none of these nasty things in it, and it is so good for you. It also has a little olive oil, too.